ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯಕರ್ತೃಭ್ಯೋ ಮಹದ್ಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ಗುರುಭ್ಯ ಸರ್ವೋಪ್ಲವರೈತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾನಘನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗರ್ಥೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೀವಾಮಸ್ಮಿ ಓಂ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪದ್ಮಭವಂ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಶಕ್ತಿ ತತ್ಪುತ್ರಪರಾಸರ ವ್ಯಾಸಂ ಸುಖಂ ಗೌಡಪದ ಮಹಾಂತ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಯೋಗೀಂದ್ರಮಥಿಷ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಥ ಪದ್ಮಪಾದ ಸಹಸ್ತಾಮಕಂಚ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ತಂತ್ರೋಟಕಂ ವಾರ್ತಿಕಾರಮನ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರು ಸಂತತಮಾನಸ್ಮಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿರ್ಪುರಾಣಾಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಶೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತೋ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಶಹನಾವತು ಶಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಶಹ ವೀರ್ ಕರವಾವಹಿ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾಷಾವಹೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುಯಲ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಂಡೇಜ್ when a child is born it enters into bondage when we say this how we have to discuss how does the child get into the womb of the mother how does it become necessary for the child to enter the womb of the mother how does it know who is a suitable parent there is an endless number of parents in the world why does it choose only one particular set of parents when this subject is discussed we must first of all know what we mean by the soul that takes birth what is a soul what is it made of we have a wrong notion of the word generally speaking people imagine that the soul is a kind of substance a little ball mercury like moving inside the body all sorts of funny ideas everywhere everybody has about the jiva atma soul and all that is nothing of this kind really jiva or soul for the purpose of our subject is a concentrated point of desire the soul that we are discussing about here is not the universal soul it is rather the bound soul and no one can be bound unless there is a concentrated concentralization of desire at a spatio temporal point is this desire that is born not a child the human being is a shape taken by a mass of desires every cell of our body is made up of desires it vibrates with desires any number of desires but since any number of desires cannot be fulfilled through a single body a certain set of desires is chosen intelligently for the purpose of fulfilling them through a single incarnation the desire of a person is infinite in its nature it would like to swallow the whole world if it is possible that it is unable to do so is a different matter but if it could be possible it would do it it would swallow the whole sky also such is the rapacious insatiable nature of desire what is desire after all is a concentration of consciousness at a finite point just as we can centralize into a point of concentration sunlight by allowing the rays of the sun to pass through a lens and makes it appear that the sun is totally concentrated through the lens in a similar manner as it were the universal consciousness arranges itself into a point of concentration and finitizes itself 
when it finitizes itself originally it is said in the upanishads that it looked like a spark of fire as from a huge conflagration of several sparks may jet forth in all directions so from this great conflagration of brahma fire many little sparks shot out which are the individuals so far so good that creation did not end with that only now the shot of sparks accepted individuality of their own something like each appointed official in a centralized government assuming independence this is called seceding a district collector may say the whole district is mine only don't talk or talk to me and so on desire is the nature of the soul that incarnates but desire is nothing but a necessity to fulfill a need an unfulfilled desire is a melody desire is an intensely concentrated onward march of a point of consciousness in some given direction which is the eagerness to fulfill desire what happens then fulfillment of desire is possible only if there is an object through which the desire can be fulfilled the objects of the world are material in their nature a mere spark of the flame cannot come in contact with material objects so it assumes simultaneously a materiality of bodily encasement also for which purpose it draws particles of matter earth water fire air and ether into itself and here we are in this position internally centralized points of desire for something or anything outside this physical embodiment assumed is called the body what are the these physical embodiments they are nothing but the segregated parts and formation of the five elements the five elements are everywhere but particles of all these elements are drawn in and centralized around a point of concentration like a magnetic point the desiring center which is the individual soul is a point which is like the center of the eye of the magnet it pulls everything into itself this center is also called the ego its purpose is to pull everything into itself and reject everything else which are the dual functions of desire that is ego having taken birth for the purpose of fulfillment of desires the desiring center forgets that the body cannot last long since it is like material out of which a house is built how long will the house be standing it will wear out one day the span of life the length of life of a person depends upon the extent of the capacity of the body to tolerate the action of desire this is very important to remember a particular desire has a particular force attached to it and the body will continue to exist as long as the force continues like the voltage of an electric current if it is high voltage the body will last longer if slow voltage it will be less but desire can not be fulfilled merely by the breaking of the body desire is not mean to come in contact with one object only it wants everything in as much as the point of desire has lost everything by disconnecting itself from the universal being now it artificially wants to possess everything a person who has lost everything wants everything in a negative way one who has starved for months will have such a ravenous appetite that he will try to eat even stone you have lost the infinite and therefore now uh now you want an infinite desire to fulfill itself through contact with numberless finite objects this is a brief story of birth and death and endless chain of metempsychosis that is sansar numberless finites but do not make the infinite when this is precisely how we are bound in this world हरि ओम तत्सत ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णात पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णश पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शांति 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 ही